So what's going on? Welcome. Welcome to the first Daddy Dolo video. This is going to be kind of like a, a spinoff uh, from my gaming content. Um, I'm going to put it on another YouTube channel, a fresh one with just these videos. Uh, but I will also put it on my, my gaming YouTube for those that would like to see it. So what these videos are going to be about are just general uh, around the house projects, uh, cool things, cool dad things that I've been learning along the way. Um, I believe that 2020 has been a year of learning new things. And we are going to try to exemplify that on this channel and just share it with you. And if you see anything that interests you that you'd like to see me do more of, uh, then definitely let me know. It's a brand new channel, so definitely hit uh, like and subscribe for me. And hopefully you enjoy some of the things that I put out. Now, the first video that we're going to be uh, showing is going to be a lawn series. So uh, we'll have multiple series. You know, because I like to show updates if I'm doing a project and it's going to take, you know, more than one video. Um, but are you, look, are you trying to get to the microphone? <laughs> so this first video is going to be a, a lawn series, kind of like a renovation. Uh, the lawn has been doing OK and I think it could do better. Now, I've had a lawn, I have lawn service for um, two or three years now since I've lived in this house and I just haven't been happy with the results. And from what I've learned, uh, taking care of your lawn uh, by yourself is the best way to get it in top shape quickly. So with that, we'll jump right into it. So this vid is a uh, pretty much a rough, a rough, rough, rough beginning video before um, and this is the front yard and this is the uh, garden bed in the front as you can see overgrown weeds everywhere and this is uh, the end of March so about March 24th um, now the big thing about the lawn that I will say is that there aren't many weeds the lawn service did do their job in regards to weed control but that was about now, um, you can see by the street, it's very bare, a lot of debris. Now, that's simply because, unfortunately, there's not a sidewalk. So we get foot traffic, and it's just something that I'm not able to control, to be honest. Um, otherwise, the grass in this state is just kind of waking up. So you can see some taller areas, some shorter areas. Exactly. Now, basically, those those taller, shorter areas will be fine. And I think that the small spots will fill in uh, as the lawn naturally thickens up for the season. Going into the back, you get a full uh, and greater picture of some of the bare spots that may need a little bit of extra attention. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, uh, a overseed kind of, you know, they say don't seed in the spring, but I'm going to do it anyway. And... Uh, Future videos will show that, and hopefully I'm going to be able to grow some grass in some of these larger bare spots. I'm just going to trust that the smaller bare spots fill in themselves. Um, so that corner and in the back are some of the larger ones. Closer to the house, uh, you'll see an even larger bare spot behind the AC unit. Definitely needs some cleaning up and I think that honestly when it comes to leveling the lawn I'm just not going to be able to do it right now desperately needs it but it's just too much work this year or else I might need to actually do some heavy leveling and some reseeding to be able to get everything nice and even Now off to the side here, I had a grill 
that kind of affected some of the grass on the side of the house. Uh, but we're going to treat that just as we're treating the rest of the. So it's pretty much just, you know, time to get to work on a lot of these things. And um, I'll be showing you guys along the way. The first thing you got to do, you got to pick yourself up. Some dad ones, you feel me? If you ain't got these, you ain't doing nothing in the yard. And if you ain't got that little green tinge, little dog poop on your shit, you're not doing nothing. This is the after. This is after chopping it down to two inches. Um, and as you can see, it really did a little bit of a little bit of stress on the yard. You can see how it got a little bit lighter. Um, but just, you know, getting those brown spots off of the tops of the grass, really bringing it down to two inches was quite a chop for it, but it allows me to see exactly, uh, the areas that are going to need the most attention. And I think that you can now see how some of the bare spots are shaping up and what needs the most attention. This corner, the back close to the house, areas that need the most attention. The goal is to get this yard looking really nice. Nice for Junior, nice for everybody else. So once we uh, are able to get that lawn nice and beautiful, I'll keep posting updates. Um, I'll have an update on weed prevention and I will have an update on uh, some spring seeding. Thank you guys for watching the first video. Appreciate it. See you next time.